Hey, what's up guys? Today we will be making a very cute patriotic wreath with items from the dollar store. What you will need, a wreath ring, and this is 14 inches. I have this really gorgeous shimmer sparkle ribbon and it's 2.5 inches in width. And then I have some very patriotic red, white, and blue deco mesh. Again, the deco mesh is now in four yards instead of five, so plan accordingly. And then this is actually from last year. See, the old deco mesh that I have from last year is still five yards. And this is the new deco mesh from this year, and it's four yards. So you can kind of see the comparison there. All right, scissors and a rotary cutter. You will also need some Chanel stems. You can definitely go with like a sparkly red, white and blue or whatever, but I have a ton of white ones, so I'm just gonna stick with these. All right, let's get started. So we are just taking the deco mesh and cutting it into eight inch long pieces. You are also going to take your ribbon and cut it into eight inch long pieces. Okay, so we have the deco mesh in eight inch long pieces as well as the ribbon. And now this part is optional, but what I'm gonna do with the ribbon is ribbon cut the end. So I just fold it in half, open in at the bottom, fold at the top, and cut at a diagonal. Just like that. Do the same to the other side. Open in at the bottom, fold at the top. Just like that. So I'm gonna do this with all of the ribbon. And so I have the deco mesh cut, I have the ribbon cut. Now I'm going to start placing it in bundles. So each bundle is going to consist of two of the thick stripe deco mesh, one of the thinner stripe deco mesh, and one piece of ribbon. Again, change it up as much as you'd like. So I'm going to roll the first piece. And I'm going to roll the other deco mesh and then roll the last piece and flip it so that I have all different colors showing. And take the ribbon and we're just going to scrunch all of it just like that. Take your Chanel stem, twist it, just like that. So again, I will make my bundles and then I will place them on the ring. And so this bundle, I'm not going to add the ribbon because I'm going to alternate the ribbon. I don't think I need the ribbon in every single bundle. So I'll alternate ribbon, no ribbon, ribbon, no ribbon. So the bundle without the ribbon is just going to look like this. So we'll get all of those done so again. Two of the stripe and one of the thinner stripes and one piece of ribbon. Chanel stem, of course. And we are just rolling, roll, and roll the last one. Place your ribbon right on top and scrunch it all together and twist the chanel stem in place just like that so i'm going to get them all done and then we'll start placing them on the ring all right so now i have all of my bundles i have a total of 30 bundles i have 15 bundles with the ribbon and 15 bundles without the ribbon and I'm just going to alternate these bundles so that I have ribbon, no ribbon, ribbon, no ribbon. So three pieces of deco mesh and one piece of ribbon in these bundles. And only the three pieces of deco mesh in these bundles. And again, I'm going to alternate them out. So I'm going to go ahead and get those placed on the ring. I have my first bundle with the ribbon. I'm going to find the inner two rings and place it around the inner two rings and twist it in place. Just like that. Then I'll go with just the mesh. 
the bundle with just the mesh and twist it into place and then come back to the ribbon so you see I'm alternating ribbon no ribbon ribbon no ribbon so I have that twisted in place you can see how it's starting to look so again I'm just alternating If you choose to put ribbon in each bundle, that's completely up to you. Or if you want to leave the ribbon out altogether, again, completely up to you. So cute and adorable. And this is only two sections. I have four more to go. So this is the last one and you kind of have to push everything over to get it in there because it gets pretty tight. Again, five bundles in each section, alternating ribbon, no ribbon, ribbon, no ribbon. All right. And then I'm just adjusting, adjusting, making sure everything looks right. Everything looks nice. So cute. right so adorable and so it's kind of wild and crazy on the back what I do to kind of tame the Chanel stems I just twist them in no specific way I just gather all of them and twist them down so that they're not sticking out everywhere again if you want to use shorter Chanel stems you can do that as well there we go nice and neat and you are all done so cute and patriotic and all items were purchased at the dollar store <laughs>